Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial in which we're going to talk about router on a stick. And why router on a stick? Well, because you need it if you are trying to pass your ICND2, which I'm, I am trying to pass my ICND2, in which I already talked about the V9 switching technologies. I'm moving up topics and talking or configuring router on a stick. So I went from um, the topic number one to topic number two which is routing technologies and I'm going to have a lot of labs for OSPF v2 v3 and also EGRP with IPv4 and also IPv6 so stay tuned guys I'm going to have lots of video and also if you haven't followed me please go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA daily tips okay and I post a lot of tips and a lot of videos there and also a lot of labs okay so let's go ahead and start with this router right on the stick lab and on the video before I configure another way another way to do this right which was having two different interfaces one for VLAN 10 and the other one for VLAN 20 but on this configuration which is router right on the stick we're only going to have one interface which is which is gigabit zero slash zero okay so let's go ahead and start and the scenario if hopefully you guys can see it but I'm going to leave this lab on the link on the description below so you guys can download it and also configure it okay so in this activity you will check for connectivity prior to implementing into VLAN routing you will need you will then configure VLANs and into VLAN routing and finally you will enable trunking and verify connectivity between VLANs okay so let's go ahead and configure that part one of this is test connectivity without inter VLAN routing so what we need to do is wait for the switch to converge or click on fast forward time if you guys want to but let's just save it like that and let's try to pin PC1 and PC3 let's see if we have a IP and we do let's copy this IP address and let's try to ping ping and this ping is going to fail and here it is it's timing out because we do not have that router on a stick configured so VLAN 10 is a VLAN, yeah, VLAN 10 and VLAN 30 cannot communicate because they are on different subnets or or on, on a different domain as you can as you can say yes they're on a different domain right so let's go ahead and configure that so VLAN 10 and VLAN 30 can ping each other with only one interface and that's why it's called router on a stick because it is one stick or one interface right here so let's see part part two is let's add VLANs to a switch so create VLANs on switch one so we have to create VLAN 10 and VLAN 30 as you can see right here let's go ahead and do that right here nope not here but on a, this switch and let's configure that Config terminal. Good. Now let's go ahead and add VLAN 10 and also VLAN 30. And let's, after that, they want us to. Okay, so configure Fast 6 and 11 as access port and assign their VLANs. So 6 is going to have 30. And 11 is going to have 10. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's exit out of here. Interface 0 slash 11. I believe. So 11 is going to have 10. Yep, 11 is going to have 10. Switchboard mode. Access. Switchboard. 
access D9 10 and now four fast Ethernet sticks which is on this side we have to assign VLAN 30 let's go ahead and do that six switch for mode access and VLAN 30 okay that's good so we are done with step two and if you want to you can go ahead and do a show VLAN brief to see if the VLANs are there you can see VLAN 10 and 30 are there so config and now they want us to test connectivity and they want to know why they're not able to ping each other and they won't be able to ping each other because they're not communicating with the router because since they are on a different domain they need a router to send the packets to the other VLANs because um, either a router or a layer 3 switch can do inter VLAN routing okay and you can see right here they, they won't be able to ping each other or they're not able to ping each other right now so now let's go to router 1 and configure those interfaces or sub interfaces okay enable config terminal interface we have to create gigabit that one that 10 and that is a sub interface for VLAN 10 and the one is to first set that encapsulation oops encapsulation to that one Q and we also need to assign the VLAN at the end the VLAN ID okay and now let's see what else we also have to do that the same for 30 so we have to configure that interface or that sub interface 30 and also put here instead of 10 we have to put the ID for the VLAN to be 30 and let's do a no shutdown and on the 10 let's do also no shutdown okay good and now let's test connectivity again and the pings are going to fail again because we have not configured that um, trunk link and we also need to let's just no shut this interface okay and let's have it up and let's try to ping again which they are going to fail again and the reason why is because we have not created a trunk link on the gigabit one one which is on the switch okay and that's it is telling us to do a show VLAN to see where gigabit one one is is assigned to and I believe it's gigabit one one let me see Yep, no, gigabit zero, yeah, gigabit one one. Let's do a show VLAN and show VLAN brief. And let's see where is gigabit one one assigned to or zero one assigned to, I believe. It's not one one, is it? Let's see. So I believe gigabit zero one is assigned to the default VLAN, which is a native VLAN, and they won't be able to communicate since they are on the VLAN. We have to create a trunk link for them to be able for us to be able to have VLAN ten and VLAN thirty. So that's because the router was configured just like I said, so VLAN trunk and now Let's enable trunk. Let's see. Issue shall we learn? How can you determine that interface is a trunk link? Shall we learn command? Show interface is trunk. So first let's configure that trunk. Terminal interface. 
I really let me verify that. If we now shut it, or if we shut it, we're gonna be able to see that that is the interface. Yep, and that is the interface. So let's go ahead and do no shut command. Because on this is saying that it's one one, but it's actually zero one. Okay. So let's configure that switchboard mode, trunk, and it went down, and then it went up to create that trunk link between the switch and the router. So let's give it a minute for them to go up. Let's try to ping. See, we are able to ping VLAN 30. And it is timing out, timing out. Time out. And time out. So what we could do here is do a T. So that's is a continual ping. So it's just going to continue to ping. And now let's go to this switch and let's do a switchboard trunk allow VLAN. We're going to allow VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. And let's see what happens now. It's going to continue to try to ping the other computer. It's timing out still. It's timing out. Let's see. Still timing out. And let's see why it's timing out. Trying to see because the router was configured with multiple interfaces. The switch port connecting to the router must be configured as a trunk. Enable trunk on interface. Let's exit. Let's end. Show VNN. Not show VNN. Show interface is trunk. As you can see, this VLAN is trunking. Let's see if the router, I don't think the router has. So what we need to do on the router is configure on, on 10, we have to configure an IP address. I forgot to add that IP address. And that IP address needs to be 172.17.0. Ten that one. Let's give it the subnet mask. Let's do the same for thirty. But we have to add another IP address or a different one, which is this one, right? And that should do it. Now we should be able to ping each other. And here it is. Now they are able to ping each other. So if you do a control C. Here it is, and now instead of a continuous ping, let's just do a regular ping. And here it is, now they are able to ping each other. So this is from PC1 to PC2, now let's do to PC3, to PC, from PC3 to PC1. So let's go ahead and copy this. Ping. And we should be able to ping it. And here it is, we are pinging. So we have successful configure router on a stick and I kind of got stuck at the end because I thought that the router already had that IP address configured on sub interface 0, .0 that 10 and 0, and 0 slash 0 that 30 but it did not have it configured and that's why I was making sure and I added that IP address and they were both able to ping each other using this router on the stick so this is all for this video thank you guys for watching and also follow me on youtube and follow me on twitter 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this packet tracer activity. I'm going to leave that link below so you guys can download it and play with it. So thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one. Bye bye.